it's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, thank you for watching my video. My name is Digitalic, and I'm a Grandmaster ranked online risk player. And if you today, we're back with Malaya Take a Shitta from Antarctica. We're gonna play a game of Classic Fixed, six players. Let's see how it goes. Hope everyone's doing well and enjoying their day or their evening wherever you are in the world. Okay, so I am the black player. I'm in the fifth position. I got a pretty good start for South America, but you guys all know that I don't like the South American position, but I will take it if it's given to me. I've got a sneeze coming, so I'm just going to mute the mic. Okay, well, I got a serious head rush after that one. Wow, I'm glad I muted the mic. Don't want to have to edit that one out. Oh my lord. Better not go into the office today. Not that I work in an office, but Okay, what's 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 Orange doing? They come into South America or are they pulling out? They are pulling out. Okay, so I'm being gifted the South American position. I think I take it. I've already got good material in in already got good material in Asia. Someone's going to go for Australia. It could be me, right? And I do prefer Australia, the Australian position, to South America. I just find that you have more options in Australia, and, and, it's in, and less dynamics to think about, like being card blocked and, you know, having to split guard, which, you know... You know where where do you have which which where do you where do you have your armies? How do you guard it? It's just, you know, I do prefer Australia in that sense. I think if nobody puts their hat in the ring for Australia, I think I'm going to take it. Does pink have a line on it? No, they don't. No, I'm going to regret this. Dirty tricks from Belgium. Huh. Let's do it. I'll actually leave pink in here. Let's see if this bites us. Let's roll this guy. Fortify in. Pink's putting in six. Where do those go? Yeah, that's. I, I figured pink would go for Europe. All right, let's talk about the settings for today's game. They are world domination, classic map, auto setup, six second turn timer, expert automated AI. Fixed cards, balance blitz, dice, um, no rank restrictions today. Alliances are on, but fog lizards and portals are off today. And red wants an alliance, I will accept. And the orange punches a four stack. Okay, well, I would have moved that. Okay, well, orange is a beginner. There's no reason to punch that. Uh, in position one, we have the psychotic player orange, General Chatta from France. Uh, in position two, we have the red player, Barack94. I know this, uh, oh my god. Austria, I think, that's Austria. Uh, in position four, we've got, um, my, my home country, Canada, playing as blue. We have ACN or GFYB. I'm, oh, and we missed white. White's in position three, that's Tarek, uh, from USA. I'm, I'm in position five with my Anything Goes account, currently ranked as a master. And in position six from Belgium, we've got Dirty Tricks as pink, playing as pink. Okay, so. That was a dumb move by Orange, because I would have moved that four out of the way next turn. There's no, no reason to punch that. I'll make an alliance with the pink player, see if I can get some friendliness going. Cool, we're cool. Thumbs up, thumbs up. We're good. Okay, so blue player stuck in draft. 
Let's hope that the automatic AI doesn't put anything here. Oh god, all three of them go there, for fuck's sakes. Like, really, you can't put them on their largest stack there? So I don't really want to punch a six stack. And now thanks to Orange, I'm going to have trouble getting cards. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm gonna put in there. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a take in the Middle East because I need cards, and then move my stack back. Lose a troop, of course. Um, but let's hope that the bot punches these territory. Helps me punch these territories, and then at some point I can clean up the bot. The bot is offline. Uh, blue is offline, so it doesn't look like they're coming back. You never know. But how bad, what bad luck that is. The bot has an eight stack here they could have put those troops on. But for some reason they decided to put it on a three stack in Australia. So like, it looks like I have a pretty clean run for Australia. But even even still, it's like, it's I'm not getting no Australian win by another player. I'm just getting screwed by the bot. So it's like Australia is cursed. But hey. You gotta play your hand, right? Okay, white white punches out of South America. White's obviously got eyes on on North America. Pink's got eyes on on Europe. Blue bought blue before they bought it out. It looks like they were transitioning to North America. Maybe I'm not really sure. Okay, at least it puts it all here this time. Let's hope that it attacks out from this position and weakens itself a little bit. Maybe it gives me a card in here, but also it could just be stuck to the stack. Luckily, it skipped a card last turn, so I don't have to worry about it having cards. But the question is, is where am I getting cards? I think I'm going to have to punch a two. This is my only option for a card. Let's hope that I don't get a minus three roll. I get a perfect roll. I think we just move it back. Okay, let's hope for a set. We do. Okay, perfect. So I'm definitely gonna punch this position out. I gotta get rid of that bot position. Pink gives me a card in China. <clears throat> now I don't normally ask uh, my allies for permission to attack their territory, but sometimes if it's a two stack, I would have just out of a matter of, you know, diplomacy, I just let them know like, hey, like, I have to punch this, you know. Because you never know, every now and then you'll run into a player that's just like, really, you hit my two stack? Well, we're, no, we're not allies anymore, you know? Uh, I end our alliance. I mean, I've had players end their alli end alliances because I had a one stack of theirs, right? Let's hope the bot doesn't put anything on this six stack in Australia. But you, you know, in my luck right now, it's going to. If it, it what I'm gonna have to hit it no matter what. Uh, I have to get this bot out of my continent. Hopefully, it doesn't cost me a fair penny of troops. Hopefully, it doesn't set me up for death. Right? Anything can happen here, but we just have to kind of pray. What are you doing, White? What's your deal? Okay, so you're going to get a card. I hope you're getting a card in, in China. Yeah, okay. And then you're fortifying these two together. Very good. And make an alliance of white. Don't put them here, bot. Nice. Okay, they all go into North America. 
So this position is getting, getting hit next turn. I have to. I have no choice. If the bot has cards now, if it sets in and puts them all in here, I'm now single stacking and I'm stuck in Australia. But we will trade. Take these 10 cards. Hope for a good roll on the 6. We will slider this down. I think you need to attack with 9 or 10. Okay, 10. Lose four, that's not the worst, it's not the best. But I do have my continent now. Now my next move will be to punch into Siam and then take the four into Siam. Uh, I'm going to do my best not to attack China because I want to leave my stack open, right? Anyone who's been watching my videos when I play the Australian position, I think it's a bad idea to to take China and India and lock yourself in Siam. Um, look at that. Orange just punched a nine stack. Of red. Orange is unbelievably aggressive. Uh, so who else do I have to guess on? I have to guess on red. Guess on white. Blue and pink. Blue is a bot. So I'm just going to guess that they're a beginner because you bought out. Just kind of my standard guess, I guess. I think white's like an expert. Go with that for white. White is holding five cards, but they have they have enough troops that and I definitely can't do anything about that. I don't have the stacks. I don't have the juice for it or the positioning. Wow. Wow. White just got absolutely smucked by the bot. And there's nothing I can do about it. White White throws up the uh, the surrender flag, which it's like. I mean, if or orange doesn't have cards, I think white's actually going to survive, to be honest with you. I think they'll survive, and they just they can just stack in the bot continent. I mean, orange can't really kill them, right? Are they going to try anyway? Okay, orange is trying to advance into Africa, trying to push red out. It's kind of working. I have a feeling on red's next set that they might, they might try and slam, slam orange. Maybe not. Maybe they won't have enough. But orange is a overly aggressive player. Uh, pink, I think pink's an expert. I'm gonna go expert for red as well. Actually, no, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't guess on red yet. I'll wait on that. Okay, so that's cool that red opened that stack for me. Okay. That's odd. Okay, but I'll let that slide. There's an... That's not aggressive. Pink will take Europe next turn. So what do we see here from red? From white, I should say. So white just takes a card and passes. I wouldn't be surprised if Orange kills them. Kills them now if Orange has a trade. That wouldn't shock me at all. Mm, actually, yeah, it would. They got too much material here. It's a lot of punching. You have to hit here, split, and go all the way around like this. Oh my god. The 
bot absolutely hammers orange too. <clears throat> God, orange is down to 21 troops, three cards. Oh, it's tempting. It's so tempting. Pink's too strong, though. I have to let this play out. It is tempting. If white was like right here in Brazil, then I could just get a clean, like I could hit the hit orange too, come smack white here, and I, I'd I'd consider it. But it's just not a good play. It's it's the the, the geography of it's just it's out of whack. Surprise pink didn't take you up there. I think you'd finish it. Okay, so orange is gonna hit the bot back. Wow, what a roll on that three. I wish I could roll threes and not lose the <laughs> And Orange does have four cards, 24 troops. I can't do it though. Not open in the right spot. Well, red might just open me here in the right spot. No, I can't chain the board here. Okay, good for white having a set and smart to use it. Have to use it here. Blocks the kill on orange. <clears throat> so my move is just to take card pass. No trade. So I'm just going to hit China. And retreat back to Siam. Leaving my main army open to attack to the west. Give Pink the thumbs up. Let's see if some of these players react. Yeah, I gotta go intermediate for red. I just, I don't think what they're doing here makes a lot of sense. Bring the 25 down. Oh my god, orange has five cards. I think this is... I think that's almost worth it. Oh my god, if that 15 hits the 10, it is now very worth it. What was that? Okay, well, so orange is definitely dead. Let's do some slidering, because I think we have time. Ooh, 
Oof, bad roll. Now what do I do? Uh, double trade. Yeah. Love it. No one else really worth killing. I think I want the Africa position now. Whoops. Well, that sucks. Well, I want to blitz that now. Whoops. So we'll get that next turn. Yeah, I don't want to go back in Australia. I want to pivot my game. Let red take Australia. Maybe pink does it. <clears throat> okay, pink's a homie. Oh, red's not going to take the bait. Red's going to kill blue? Oh, that was not the way to do it. I kind of want to take South America here and hold these two. And then this fucking bot. Okay, let's finish. Africa. <clears throat> I do want red to take the Australian position. Pink's very passive. <coughs> Once again, I'll invite them to attack my territory. <laughs> what are they doing? You're gonna kill white? That doesn't make sense. White's too big for three cards. No, this split doesn't make sense. What do I have red as an intermediate beginner? I'm putting right down to beginner. Like, I wanna take the South American position, but I need someone to take this from me. <clears throat> red doesn't see I don't know what red's doing it doesn't make sense okay, and the bot's gonna put a big stack here in Brazil because of my 60 yeah well that's only a 12 stack but still alright I mean like If people want me holding fucking Australia as well, I will. Fine. Let's do it. I'll hold Australia. You missed your opportunity, Red.
Good, and pink and white are cocked up on each other here. I like that. All right. Fair enough, Red. I'll give up the Australian position to you. You should have taken it two turns ago. Oh, snap! White goes offline. I think I just won. And the bot gets the white kill. Oh my god. I think I just won. How many cards does pink have? Now, this is what we do. Let's slide her. Let's do this quickly. That's good enough. Red doesn't have a trade. <clears throat> I got five cards, 62 troops. I don't give a shit about the bot. Red's gonna come this way and hit me. <clears throat> it can break my bonuses. I, I, I should have, I was a little bit slow there, but you know, whatever. I've still got the game locked up. What I was hoping to do was to put a stack over here as well. At least slow Red down a little. Was they're coming this way? I don't think that's right. Well, this is actually a good play because the bot's going to close up, close me up here, and their bot's going to break me here. Okay, but I can eat red up with my trade. That was a good move, not opening this twenty-five in the in this direction. If the the bot could do me a huge favor by not taking North America. Um, <clears throat> but I don't think there's a way that red can come back here. What's my trade? Is it good at least? Yeah, at artillery. Oh no, I got the big trade. That's good. Okay, bot... Bot leaves my 25 open, so I can kill Red this turn, take their three cards, and then beat the bot. So I'll say good game to Red, because it's over now. I can't give them second. I have to kill Red now. The bot's too big. Plus two in Afghanistan. That's cool. So I could probably just put it all here. They're open here. Okay, so let's go. Let's just put it all here and let's just let's just run through it quickly. No slider, I don't have time. Now I just have to beat the bot. That's simple. I even get a trade here so I can start punching the bot now. 
and I can do it from North America. I'll break this tape. Uh, I can open up the 17 to come back because I can put that 17 to just go into me. I'll just activate. Actually, let's activate the 15 here. Or the 13, sorry. This game's over. What an interesting situation. I win because White suicided. Oh my god, is Blue back? Ha ha ha, Blue's back! That's funny. Another sc scumbag attempt? No, they went offline. Okay. It's amazing. I don't think Blue could even beat me. That is so funny. It's funny how these players just try and reconnect. A lot of players that reconnect get the reconnect bug where you can't reinforce troops now. They don't they haven't seemed to have fixed that. But it's just funny how many players just suddenly, oh, it's look, I killed off everyone else. Oh, look, you're trying to reconnect. Funny how that works out. Hey, it is what it is. But I'm putting in 12, so there's 13, 14 here. So let's just put 17 there. Uh, what's my biggest stack over here? Is it the three? It looks like it. I can just kind of ring around the rosy there as much as I can. Oh, no slider because this game's over. Nice, and I think it stops there. Bring the seven in. Connected. Bot should have a trade here, but it doesn't matter. It's a bot. Or is it not a bot anymore? No. <clears throat> Fun times, what a fun game. So I said orange, blue. yeah, okay, I got my guesses here. This game should be over this turn now, because I most likely have a trade on four, which I don't, but maybe I can't finish it here now. Now I have to do a split. Oh my god. Brutal. Okay, so 22. Let's see if I can do this more efficiently without splitting. So let's put uh, 73 is 100%, and I'll probably, let's put 8 there, just to see if I can have some left over. Let's punch it. Yeah, I do. But now I can't hit this territory because i got to come around. 25. 20. Yeah, that's it. There you have it, folks. Great game. Um don't really know what to say about it it's like you know it's another one of those games where you the game is suddenly given to you but you have to be able to recognize that right um i think the order and the kills that i did was correct okay so i said orange was a beginner i said red was a beginner i said white was an expert i said blue or who or yeah blue was a beginner pink was an expert let's see how i did okay i said orange beginner correct red i said beginner they're intermediate, close. Uh, white, I said expert, they're a beginner, wrong. Uh, blue, I said beginner, they're an expert, wrong. And pink, I said expert, they were a master, I was close, but still wrong. Okay, decent guesses, you know. You're never going to get them right <laughs> perfectly. Uh, but you got to go with your gut, you got to go with your skill set, right? You you know, you're just your your experience at this game, and it's good to, if you know the, ex this, the skill level of your opponent, um, it's good because you can adjust your strategy strategy accordingly. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, smash that like button for me. It helps me out with the algorithm. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. You and I can get better at this game together. You can help me get to a thousand subs quicker. Uh, follow me on Twitch, links in the description. Catch me when I'm live. And until I see you next time, you keep fighting that good fight.